On the night of the invasion, I was on a night shift. I was on, in charge of the ICU there. And the day the night the bombing started, I actually called up my sister in Kuwait City and said the Iraqis have invaded. By 5 a.m., I my ICU doors were banged open by then, and the Iraqi soldiers were pouring in, and that's how I still remember the night. The gates opened, and they just asked me to disconnect all the Kuwaiti patients and. I had to survive, uh, make them take in the Iraqi soldiers who were injured and these soldiers were as young as 14 and 15 with loss of limbs and things like that. The sad part was when we were trying to you know, not disconnect the children uh, but it was a decision which till today took me a long time to come to terms with it. Middle of the night, 2 a.m., my brother-in-law came, parked his car in one of those dark areas so that we would not be caught. And that's how we landed up. I escaped. So one night, we all got, a group of 40 people got paid for a bus from the Kuwait City. And uh, we drove down the whole night we were driving and I remember landing up in that no man's land in the middle of the night. My knee was bleeding, all that, but it didn't matter. It was just that at least we reached a place where there was no bombing happening and we knew we were coming back home. And then after a couple of days, each one was getting, you know, so many people were called out saying that you're on the next flight. And I'll never forget the entrance to that flight and the people out in Air India and the food, the first meal to eat there was, I mean, it really, till today, if I can remember something uh, nice, I mean, other than the pain part of it, the nicest part was this Air India stuff and the plates and the food that was eaten, I mean, I still can't get over it. I remember landing in Bombay and I was hugging people whom I didn't even know there. But just the fear, uh, the thought that I'm back home. I mean, I actually bent down and I, I normally used to see Hindu people, you know, kissing the crown and here I was almost in tears 